Beginning of our newscast, this is day one of what we expect to be a few days of first alert weather. I mean, I don't want to say awfulness, but I just, <laughs> I don't like this kind of weather, Erin. You know, know, you and I have the kinds of jobs where we can't work remotely, we can't work from home. Yeah. And so it's going to mean a few days of, of being on some pretty treacherous roads, I imagine. Yeah, and, and you know, there's so many people that this impacts, right? Uh, we're talking about schools and daycares, uh, just getting to work, trying to travel. This is going to be a big disruption to our lives. And it, goes through Wednesday, so we've got a stretch of a couple of days where the weather's not going to be so great for us. Despite what we're seeing on the radar, just the temperatures are really brutal. We're sitting in the 20s. You've got a few spots in the low 30s to the south and east, and that's where it's a little bit more of a cold rain, freezing rain mix right now. But everyone else, you're kind of seeing this patchy drizzle, uh, some freezing rain, and uh, Apache freezing drizzle, I should say, freezing rain, and even some sleet to the north and west. And that's where we've got temperatures in the low to mid 20s right now, despite the wind chills. Not even talking about the wind chills at this point. But as we look at satellite and radar just here over the last hour or so, this is what I was expecting. We're already starting to see a little bit of an uptick in the precipitation that is showing up here. So we are anticipating more of this freezing rain, this freezing drizzle, uh, and this sleet, and maybe even a little bit of snow mixing into the north and west. We're going to see more of this as we head through this afternoon. The reason that we got this first alert weather day stretch kind of started early was the winter storm warning actually went into effect earlier this morning. It's now in place for all of North Texas. It's going to continue through at least Wednesday at this point. So what we're concerned with regarding this winter storm warning is the possibility of ice accumulation and especially the hazardous travel if you have to be out on the roads. What we're also going to be watching for and of course keeping you updated on CBS 11 is the possibility of some icing on the path power lines and impacts that that could have to some of the infrastructure as well. So we'll keep you updated on that. But this is what we're thinking for the next couple of days. So our first alert weather day is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. For the rest of today, Monday, I think we're going to have an uptick in activity this afternoon through the early evening hours and then there will be a lull in any precip for tonight. Not non-existent, but certainly a lull compared to this afternoon. So what this means is that for the Metroplex, there's going to be slick spots on those elevated surfaces. Think the bridges and the overpasses. Uh, and to the north and west of the Metroplex, road conditions are going to remain poor. Then tomorrow, really just kind of dangerous travel expected. We're hoping that we start to see more of a transition to rain by Wednesday afternoon. So looking at future cast, you kind of see the uptick in this activity once we get past midday today. So you've got freezing rain, freezing drizzle, maybe a little bit of sleet out to the north and west, and it kind of transitions more to that cold rain the farther east and southeast you go. And then into tonight, that lull that I mentioned. But once we get past 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, we see more widespread freezing rain, freezing drizzle. Uh, this is when we're expecting really the roads to kind of be the worst throughout the day on Tuesday. This kind of continues into Wednesday morning as well, and then hopefully Wednesday afternoon, we start to see things uh, kind of improve as far as the frozen precip is concerned. So for the afternoon today, we're watching for those minor travel impacts on the metro in the Metroplex into the north and west. That's where concerns will be highest. Uh, of course, on Thursday, we still have some rain going on in the afternoon, and then we start to see things getting better into the evening. By Friday, it's finally sunny, and there is light at the end of the tunnel, Nicole. You've got a high of 60 by Sunday. Oh.